Joining me now from Boston is Democratic Governor Bill Richardson of New Mexico and in Phoenix, Republican Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona. Gentlemen, thank you both. Uh, I, I want to start with you, Governor Richardson. I know you are opposed to the Arizona law. You agree with the administration, the Justice Department, filing to get an injunction from keeping that law from going into effect. But do you not have a certain sympathy for the state of Arizona, uh, which has a, a number of problems going on, uh, including just the price to the state, which you well know, of undocumented workers in uh, terms of education, in terms of health care, and, and not to mention uh, some of the violence that has happened in Arizona that can be attributable to illegal aliens? Well, yes, Candy, I am sympathetic to Arizona. They're a border state. Uh, they're a neighbor state. Uh, we've had similar problems in New Mexico. We're on the border, too. And I do believe there's a need for comprehensive immigration reform. We all agree on that. What I don't agree with is Arizona taking this issue in their own hands and taking over what is a federal responsibility, harming our foreign policy with Central America and Mexico, and basically passing a law that uh, potentially is discriminatory, racial profiling. Anybody that looks Hispanic, and, and this is a state that is 30 percent Hispanic with Hispanics there for many generations, being pulled over on the grounds that they may look suspicious. This issue has divided the country. This issue needs to be dealt with by the Congress in a comprehensive way. But yeah, I am sympathetic to Arizona. I toured the border with Governor Brewer. Uh, I declared a border emergency. I agree we need more resources on the border, but uh, it's important that the federal government, the Congress, deal with this comprehensively with a legalization plan, with a plan to crack down on illegal hires, and then finally to give us more resources, more boots on the ground, more border patrol, more uh, National Guard, more detection equipment on the border to stem this illegal tide, not just of workers, but also drugs and violence and smuggling. Governor, I, I want to talk to you in, in a bit about uh, the legalization of some of those who are now here. But uh, Congressman Franks, you heard, I mean, the, the most controversial part of this law has been uh, that police who stop someone on another violation, if they are reasonably suspicious, uh, that it might be an undocumented uh, person can ask for those documents. Do you worry that Arizona does begin to look like uh, it is racist, like it is racially profiling? You know, Candy, I think unfortunately this administration has tried to project that notion. But the reality is that in Rhode Island and other states, they have essentially the same uh, kind of protocol. And what's more is that uh, in the federal uh, process called 287G, it's a, it's a program that uh, calls for states and the federal government to work together on these things. Uh, essentially, Arizona has just codified that in state law. And it's ironic that, you know, with all of the arguments that this is somehow about racial profiling, I think the President of the United States has, has spoken knowing falsehoods about this bill because the, the bill itself, in numerous cases, numerous places, um, outlaws racial profiling. But and it's just intent, astonishing to me. And, there is intent. And then there is what actually happens. And the well, truth uh, is, if, if, if an Arizona policeman pulled me over for speeding, I seriously doubt he would ask me for my papers. But if someone who looked Latino was pulled over, uh, I'm assuming they would ask for those papers. So isn't, isn't the net product to be profiling? No, I don't think so. The, the reality is for 50 years in this country, federal law has required people that are illegal or that are, are immigrants or, Ill, or that are legal immigrants to this country to carry documentation to that effect. And that's been the law for 50 years. And all of a sudden, uh, when Arizona codifies this because the federal government's not doing its job, uh, then there's this outcry of racial profiling. And, and the reality is the, the, the administration's lawsuit against Arizona is not predicated on racial profiling. If they thought that that would hold up in court, then they should sue on that behalf. I mean, that would at least give us a, a respectable idea of what they're, what they're really trying to do. But what they're saying here is that, uh, uh, yes, they're, they're saying it's racial profiling, but what they're actually suing on is that somehow that Arizona is uh, preempting the federal government's uh, responsibility. And the, the irony of that is that that's, that was the whole predicate. Arizona had to do this simply because the federal government wasn't doing and it. And, Governor, the federal government has not 
uh, I think you would agree, stepped up to the plate on this particular issue dealing with illegal immigration? Well, the reality is that the Congress has failed to act on comprehensive immigration reform. Well, that's reform. the same thing, President right? Obama has, but, but no, but Candy, uh, look, Arizona, New Mexico, California, Texas, in the last two weeks, we've gotten a substantial more of National Guard troops. Arizona getting the most. Uh, border security has dramatically improved, in my judgment. It's still not sufficient. Violence on the border has been reduced a bit, although in Arizona and New Mexico, we still have serious problems. It's not as if the Obama administration hasn't on the border security side, which is very important to me and, and to Arizona and I'm sure to the congressman. Uh, th the issue is the Congress needs to appropriate more funds and more resources. But right but now, barring uh, that, you can under more... understand why a state would want to act. Well, they may want to act, but they acted incorrectly. They acted in a way that preempts federal authority, but it's also discriminatory. The brief of the Justice Department talks about racial profiling potentially happening besides the preemption issue. It also talks about harming a relationship with uh, another country. Right now we have six Mexican border governors refusing to attend a yearly border conference with American border governors because uh, of this incident, because of this issue in Arizona. So it is harming our foreign policy. What we need, uh, Candy, is for Republicans and Democrats in the Congress to step up and pass comprehensive immigration reform, which they refuse to do because it's a hot issue. Yeah, they don't want to deal with it before let, the election. Let me ask you, um, I know that in 1986, uh, Ronald Reagan passed, uh, got passed a fairly comprehensive immigration bill. It gave amnesty to something like three million uh, undocumented workers that were in the U.S. at that time. Now, 25 years later, they're between 11 and 15 million, depending on who you believe. So what makes you think that uh, going around and, 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 and documenting illegals wouldn't just sort of say to others, come on in, eventually you'll get your citizenship? Well, what is being proposed now by responsible Republicans like President Bush uh, several years ago and, and, and President Reagan is it's not an amnesty. What they're saying is let's have a path to legalization. Uh, if you speak English, you pass a background check. If you pay back taxes, if you get behind uh, those that are trying to get here legally, uh, then eventually you get a path to legalization, not citizenship. It'll take about 10 years eventually to maybe uh, be eligible for citizenship. That is not an amnesty. That is basically saying that with the 11 million that we have here illegally, we're going to give them an opportunity to show that they embrace American values. They can work here if they're law abiding, as I said, if they satisfy those the, conditions. Let me give the uh, Congressman a chance just to, to talk about this issue in general. Congressman, uh, what about that? I mean, it sounds reasonable. Uh, you have people here, and I know President Bush used to say all the time, family values don't stop at the Rio Grande. Uh, that, that so many, the huge bulk of these people are coming because they need to feed their families. So, uh, you know, what about the idea that, yes, in over 10 years, let's bring all of these people out of the shadows, as they say? Well, Candy, I'm sympathetic to the, the humanitarian aspects of this. My own wife is from the Philippines and came here legally to this country. And there are a lot of people that want to be part of this nation, and I want them to be part of this nation. But if we uh, uh, ignore the law completely, then those who are trying to come here legally get pushed aside, and it just changes everything. But there's a, another issue here that is always astonishing to me that uh, uh, this administration seems to overlook, and that's the national security component. I have legislation in that regard. I won't describe it, but let me suggest to you that uh, someday we may face an incursion from some malevolent group that comes over our borders with something that changes our world forever. Uh, it just recently, a Hezbollah leader, Jamal uh, Nasser, was arrested in Tijuana, south of San Diego, and uh, I assure you his intentions were not good trying to come over our border. And it's astonishing to me that when we live in a 911 world, that border security is focused entirely on just the immigration issue when it really the national security component is much greater here and i guess i have to take a, a little secondary 
uh, uh, shot here when they when they try to beat up the the governor of Arizona, Governor Brewer. I served with her in the legislature when I was 27 years old, and I will tell you that this is a noble, decent lady that has always, as long as I've known her, tried to do what she truly thought was right for her country, that would honor her God and her fellow human beings. And I'm a little tired of her being kicked around and treated like that somehow she's at fault for canceling or for uh, being the one to have to, to postpone this governor's conference when it was the, the, the governors uh, from the Mexican states like Sonora um, and, and others that were the ones that said that they wouldn't come. Congressman, so, I think I'm going to have to leave it there, okay. but I, I appreciate both of you so much coming. Uh, Republican Congressman Trent Franks and, of course, uh, Governor Richardson, thank you both so much for joining thank us. Thank you. When we come thank back, you. we'll...